Hello, my name is Chef Thiwe from Uganda and we're going to explore East African dishes. On our table, we have a cluster of green bananas, locally known as matoke. Very popular dish in East Africa, especially Uganda. It's rich in potassium and it's a very versatile dish because it can be prepared in various ways and can be eaten in different forms. You could hydrate this matoke and fry it. Very amazing with tea. Absolutely amazing tea snack. And you can also steam it in banana leaves, which enables it to retain the micronutrients. It's served at um, traditional functions. We have a dish called the Luombo, so there it's prepared in the banana leaves and it's absolutely amazing. It's a delicacy that everybody looks forward to. And then we have the, uh, the casserole dish, green banana casserole, which we locally call katogo. And this is a very popular breakfast dish, but it can also be eaten as a lunch snack, or if you want to eat something really light and absolutely amazing, it's your go-to dish, a very a signature dish that we have in Uganda. And it's very simple to prepare. We're going to do a sample of it today, and we'll have it with beef and carrots and peas. So these vegetables will increase the nutritional value. And then we have a bowl of maize flour. This is going to be used to prepare the posha. Uh, in Swahili we call it ugali, in Uganda kawunga. It's a very good side dish, rich in carbohydrates. And it's eaten in schools, homesteads, prisons, pretty much everywhere throughout East Africa. Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, they all love ugali. And it's eaten with um, different sides. You can have it with our fish, which they call samaki in Swahili. You could have it with peas, with beef, name it. And here we have the fish. It's from Lake Victoria, our freshwater body. This is where we share this lake with Kenya, Tanzania, all the East African regions, basically. So it's a popular dish throughout all these regions, and it's very easy to prepare. We could grill it, we could bake it, we could you know, make a stew from it, and it's very high in protein and micro minerals. It's a white meat, so it's absolutely nutritious. Today we're going to fry it, but we're going to use sunflower oil, which is cholesterol free, and that is nutritious. So we'll serve it with a tomato based sauce, and that's going to have some herbs in it, some rosemary, some onion and garlic, which we're going to saute together. So it's very delicious with the ugali or the matoke and absolutely nutritious. You're going to get all that protein in there, a burst of flavors, all from East Africa. Enjoy, bon appétit. So I'm now preparing the katogo, green banana casserole with our peas, our carrots, our onion, garlic. I'm sauteing all that together, then I'll add our tomatoes and the matoke, and I'll just let it simmer on low heat. Very nutritious and tasty. Okay, I'm going to let it boil for about 15 to 20 minutes till it's ready and we'll serve it. So we seasoned our fish with salt, pepper, oil, and we're going to fry it and finish it with our tomato sauce. Remember our oil, we use the sunflower oil, which is cholesterol free, so it remains nutritious. And the garlic should be fresh garlic.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is our complete spread of the preparation. We have our portion here, the ogali. We have the green banana casserole, the katogo with the beef. And we have our fish with the tomato sauce, the samaki or the poisson. Um, very delicious, absolutely nutritious and filling and aesthetic too. I hope when you come to East Africa, you get to experience this beyond pictures. My name again is Chef Thiwe. Thank you for coming down through this journey with me.